what we're going to do now is look at the bootstrapping that we do from NZ Grapper. Now you should have already watched the video explaining how to get your bootstrap graph from NZ Grapper. So this is the part that comes after it, understanding what that output means, what it is that we've found. So we are mostly going to do this in terms of bootstrapping for a median. Okay, it's only ever if you've got enough evidence otherwise that you do a mean, but generally speaking, um, do with a median. So this is my sample data from my rugby players, and this is the bootstrapping graph that I've got out of NC Grapper. So there's a few things that we need to notice. Up the top, we've got the box and whisker and dot plots. Okay, just like we had before, it's just the same graph squashed up a little bit, but that's exactly the same graph as before. Okay. Then underneath that, we've got this new graph, and if I look at that label on the axis, it's talking about the difference between the medians. So when I'm comparing my backs and my forwards weights, it's looking at taking the median weight of the forwards, which is here at about 112 kilograms, comparing that with the weight of the median weight of the backs at around about 93 or 4 kilograms. And what they've done specifically to get this confidence he interval here is they've done the weight, median weight of the forwards take away the median weight of the backs. So I've taken that, so we've gone that median weight there of the forwards, subtracted that, find the median weight of the backs, and that difference there, that distance there, okay, so this blue arrow that I've drawn there, that is the same blue arrow that they have on their graph there with the 18.5 kg on it. So that 18.5 kilograms and this long blue arrow here is the difference between the two medians. Then we need to look at it getting a confidence interval around this. So this is how accurate our estimate is. So this is where we've got the solid blue line going on here. Okay. And so that, so there's our 18.5 which is in the center of that blue. Okay, so if I take the center of this blue block line, that's at 18.5. All right, and then I'm going to look at the accuracy above that. So how far is it from there above? And that takes me up to a confidence interval of 23 and go down by a little bit, and that takes me down to a value of 16. So that is my confidence interval. I'm expecting that the weight, median weight, of forwards is about 18.5 kilograms more than the median weight of backs. So that was from before. How accurate is that? Well, it could be as low, the difference could be as low as 16 kilograms or as high as 23 kilograms. But I'm expecting that the for, for the population, remember the 18.5 is our sample, this is giving us an estimate now for our population that back in the population of all New Zealand South African rugby players in the whole entire time, we are going to expect the median weights of the forwards to be between 16 to 23 kilograms more than the median weights of the backs. And that's what we're going to interpret. So the median weight of the forwards is about 18 and a half kilograms heavier than the median weight of the backs for our sample. So therefore the difference in the median weights is 18.5 kilos. We can be reasonably confident that forwards will be between 16 and 23 kilograms heavier than backs from the rugby players. So that reasonably confident is a key idea. We're not absolutely certain because we're dealing with sample data, but we can be reasonably confident.